solving logarithmic equations. So this is the last lesson in kind of the solving part. And um, I'm going to go over some different examples again that hopefully will help you uh, get some ideas on, on the best way of doing these. Now the first thing you want to do when you look at one of these equations is to get the logs to one side and keep the constant on the other. So in this case, I have this that I need to move, this negative log 2x. And I'm just going to bring it to the other side of the equation first. So I'm going to add log base 2x and set that equal to 3. Okay, so you can say, well, what are we going to do with this after? Don't worry, just hang on. We've got a plus sign here, and because it says plus, we know from our rules with logarithms that if it's plus, I can multiply these and make it into a single log. So your idea is to get a single log. And once you have the single log, then you can use um, convert to exponential form. And that's what we're going to do with this one. Most of them, this is the way you're going to do it. Okay, so if I have the log of 2, um, this times this, that's going to give me x squared plus 2x is equal to 3. x squared plus 2x equals 3. Now write it in exponential form from here. So this is a base 2, so I'm going to say 2 to the 3 is equal to this. Two to the three and of course that's eight. I'm going to bring it to the other side of the equation and I'm going to solve it. So you're setting it up to get into a quadratic form that you can solve most of the time by simply by um, factoring. So it multiplies to minus eight and adds to positive two that would be plus four and minus two. Okay, so we're almost done here. We can say that x would be equal to negative 4 or 2. But wait, there's more. Okay, so again what we did was we want to write a single log. So get the logs, get to one side, constant on the other. Then switch into exponential form. That was this line right here. And then once you have your solution, you have to check to see if you have a negative log because those are no goes in the world of logarithms. So because this is minus 4, if I plug it in here, that would give me minus 2 and this would be a minus 4 here. So that means x equals negative 4 is inadmissible. In other words, you can't not do it because you don't have any, you can't take the log of a negative number because as you know when we did the first lesson our logarithmic function goes this way, right? These are logs. There's no negative numbers. We can't take the log of a negative number just because you can't either do this, you can't graph this function, right? That's not an exponential function because you'd be going up and down and up and down. So we talked about that. So make sure that your solution only has admissible values. So in the end, you would say, therefore, x equals 2. That is the one and only solution. Okay, let's try a different one here. Log base 6x plus log base 6x plus 1 equals 1. Same thing, only this one's already set up with the constant on this side the logarithms on this, and they are the same base. That's critical. Okay, these were the same base 2. These are both same base 6. So now I have log base 6, and I multiply these. So I have x squared plus x is equal to 1. And now I'm going to write it into exponential form. So 6 to the 1 is equal to this. So x squared plus six is e uh, sorry plus x is equal to six. X squared plus six minus I keep saying six instead of x. I'm sorry. X squared plus x minus six equals zero, and that gives me x plus three 
times x minus 2 equals 0. And again, I would say x equals minus 3 or 2. And I have to check. And sometimes, you know, it might be, um, this might be x plus 4, and this might be, be x plus 6 or something. And then if I plugged in the minus 3, it would still be positive. So you have to check to see, does it make a negative log? And yes, this one does not work. So x equals minus 3 is inadmissible. It's going to write the short form. Therefore, x is equal to 2. That's your solution. Okay. Let's try a couple more over here. Um, some from your textbooks. 2f log base 5. 2x minus 4 equals log base 5. 36. Well, I don't have to bring this log over here because these are the very same on this side. So that means that this part of the equation here, this, has to be equal to this. So this is a really easy one to solve because all, all you have to do is say 2x minus 4 equals 36, 2x is equal to 40, and x is equal to 20. And if I put 20 in here, I would have a positive answer. And of course, if I put in 20 here, I'm going to get 36. So that's that one. That's a really easy one. Um, sometimes, like in this question here, you can go directly to exponential form. So if I was to write this in exponential form, remember b, oops, b a log bay, right? Bay. So this is bay here. So b a, uh, so base this. So a half to the minus 2. You should be pretty good at this by now anyway. Half to the minus 2 is equal to x. Half to the minus 2, that's the same as 2 squared. So x is equal to 4. So what do I raise half to to get 4? Negative 2. Okay, on to this one here. Log x plus 5 equals 2 log x minus 1. Okay, now this time we have this number in front. So... In order for me, I just can't equate these because these are both base 10, right? They're both log base 10, but this 2 is important. So the 2 has to go back up here first. So now I would have um, log of x plus 5. And I'm going to bring this over to the other side of the equation. So now it's going to be minus log of x minus 1 squared is equal to 0. So I'm setting it up again like a quadratic. So I've got this on the other side of the equation and now I can expand and simplify. I'm... Uh, did I want to do that? x plus 5. I brought this over so that means I'm dividing, right? Oh, that's not a good idea. I made a boo-boo. If I left this here, let's just back up. Oh, sometimes these questions give you a headache, don't they? Me too. Okay, so let's let's go back here. Let's just write this. Log. I'm, I was making it too hard. Like this. It, the other way still would have worked because I would have said 10 to the power of 0 equals 1, and then I would have solved it. But this is this is easier this way. So now that these are the same like log base 10, log base 10, then I know that this has to be equal to this. I was making it too hard for you. My apologies. x squared minus 2x plus 1. Now I'm bringing everything to one side of the equation and set it equal to 0. So I'm going to bring everything on this side so I can keep my x squared positive. So I have x squared minus 3x minus 4 is equal to 0 multiplies to minus 4, so x minus 4, x plus 1 is equal to 0, and I get x is equal to 4 and negative 1. So I plug them back in, 4, that one works, and what if I put in negative 1? That would give me minus 1, minus 1, that would be negative log. So this one's inadmissible, and admissible 
and so x is equal to 4. And down to the last couple here, we have log of x minus 1 minus 1 equals this. Okay, so you have to rearrange it a bit. That's all they're asking you to do here. So I'm going to bring the 1 over here, the log over here. So log x minus 1 plus log x plus 2 is equal to 1. Now I'm going to, this is plus, so I can multiply these, write it as a single log. So I have x minus 1 times x plus 2 is equal to 1. Now you can expand this first if you want. Why not? The log of x squared plus 2 minus 1 is plus x minus 2 is equal to 1. Now switch to exponential form. Remembering this is base 10. So x squared plus x minus 2 equals 10 to the power of 1 is 10. So 10 to the 1 equals this. So this is switching to exponential form. Remember I told you, oh yeah, you're going to do a lot of this. Switching between, you're taking the logable sides, you're switching from logarithmic to exponential. So now I have x squared plus x minus 12 equals 0 happen there. And what multiplies to negative 12 and adds to positive 1? That would be 4 and minus 3. So I get x equals minus 4 and 3. If I put in minus 4, these would both be negative. If I put in 3, they're both positive. So x equals minus 4 is, you can just circle it, inadmissible. Therefore, x equals 3. And we have just one more to do. Hopefully this will help you set up. Now, if you're getting to the end of your unit and you want some practice, you can go to my PB Web, PB Works website and there's a little practice test there that might be helpful for you. Okay, this one's kind of crazy because we have, mm, we have a cube root here. So we need to fix this up first and well, I'll show you how. So I write this, x squared plus 48x, and it's raised to the power of 1 over 3 equals 2 thirds. So now I'm going to bring the 1 third over here. That's my power rule for logarithms. x squared plus 48x equals two thirds. And that's kind of nice because if I multiply both sides by three, I can get rid of these. So I'll just write it in red here, times three, times three. And that's going to give me log of x squared plus 48x is equal to two. Now remember anything log, if it just says log, that's base 10. So now we switch to exponential form and I'm going to say 10 to the power of 2 is equal to x squared plus 48x. So that means x squared plus 48x minus 100 is equal to 0. So what multiplies to negative 100 and adds to 48? You're probably guessing oh, about 50 and 2 would work. Plus 50 minus 2. x plus 50 x minus 2 equals 0. So does negative 50 work in this equation? Absolutely mm. I was going to say absolutely not, but I don't know. We have to see. Um, you have to check this minus 50. Does, is the 2 going to work? 4 plus 96, the square cube root of 100. Yeah, that's positive. So I need to check x equals negative 50. I'm going to write it up here, okay? So when x equals negative 50, the log, now the reason I said, ooh, I'm not sure, because minus 50 squared is bigger than 48 times 50, right? So I'm pretty darn sure it's going to be positive, but I will prove it to you. So minus 50 squared plus 48 times 50. And I guess I really don't need to do that for you, because you can see that this number I'm squaring a negative, so it's going to be positive, 
and I'm adding this positive number to it. So it's going to be the cube root of a positive number, which is going to be a positive number, is positive. So see, I told you sometimes they do work. Therefore, x equals negative 50 and x equal 2 are admissible solutions. How do you like that? I told you sometimes they fool you. Okay, so that's the end of our little lesson. I hope I didn't ruin the page for you there. You can see everything. It's really hard for me to do this. Like I said, it, it's kind of better when I was at school and the students would say, Miss, I can't see it. Move it. Okay, so that's um, your lesson on... I wanted to get that out to you soon because I know some of you were getting ready for your test. Um, I hope this has helped you. I hope you've subscribed and follow along and you have a great grade 12 advanced functions here. All the best. Bye-bye.